Welcome to the chapter Food Components. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Understand the food components necessary for our body. Identify the protective food for our body. Discuss roughage or dietary fibers. Explain the sources of roughages. Importance of the water in our body. Explain about the balanced diet and junk foods. Discuss the history of food and nutrition. Introduction Before entering into the chapter, follow the instructions shown on the screen. Click each tab to know more. In lower classes, we learned different kinds of food that we eat like biryani, pulihora, chapati, dal, etc. Food becomes tasty and eatable by adding oil, suganda dravyalu or condiments, etc. Do you know about the essential components of food? What are roughages or dietary food? What are the sources of roughages? How is the water useful to our body? How to maintain a balanced diet? Let us try to answer these questions and learn more about food components. Now, let us learn about the essential components of food. Food has many different components such as carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Each and every component has its own function in the growth protection of our body. Water and fibers are also present in the components of food. The packed food items also contain essential components. For example, observe the given food packets in which the food components are listed. In order to test the components present in the food substances, let us perform a small activity. Here, let us perform an activity to test for the presence of starch in food items. Click each tab to know more. Take a piece of potato, cheese and bread in three different petri dishes. Take iodine solution and a pipette. Place the iodine in the pipette. Now, add few drops of iodine solution directly onto the pieces of potato, cheese and bread. Observe and record the changes in color. Dish 1. Potato Iodine turns from red color to blue-black color. Dish 2. Cheese Iodine does not change its color. Dish 3. Bread Iodine turns from red color to blue-black color. From this experiment, we learned that if starch is present, 
iodine solution turns into blue black color if starch is absent iodine solution stays in red or yellow color here let us perform an activity to test the presence of fats in food items click each tab to know more Take a small quantity of food material like vegetable oil. Take a piece of paper. Drop a small amount of oil on the paper and rub it gently with the help of an earbud. Dry the paper by placing it in sunlight for few minutes. Observe the changes on paper. An oily patch is observed on the paper. This indicates the presence of fat in the tested food item. This type of stain is termed as translucent stain. From this experiment, we learned that if there is a permanent translucent stain on the paper, then the food item consists of fats. If there is no stain or the stain dries off, then no fat is present in the food item. Here, let us perform an activity to test for the presence of proteins in food items. Click each tab to know more. Prepare copper sulfate solution by adding 2 grams of copper sulfate in 100 milliliters of water. Prepare sodium hydroxide solution by dissolving 10 grams of sodium hydroxide NaOH in 100 milliliters of water. To test the presence of proteins, we require copper sulfate solution, sodium hydroxide solution, some quantity of water, food samples like egg yolk, a test tube, and a pipette. With the help of the pipette, add 10 drops of egg yolk to a test tube. Add few drops of copper sulfate solution to the egg yolk and mix it gently. Now, carefully add few drops of sodium hydroxide solution and once again shake it gently. Observe the color changes that occur in the solution. It is observed that the color of yolk changes to purple. This indicates the presence of proteins. From this experiment, we learned that if the food item turns to purple color by adding copper sulfate or sodium hydroxide solutions, then it is an indication that protein is present in the food item. If the color of food items remain unchanged even after adding solutions, it indicates that there is no protein in the particular food item. Now, let us learn about roughages or dietary fibers. Some of the food components that are necessary for our body 
or called roughages or dietary fibers. We obtain more roughages or dietary fibers from plant foods. Our body fails to digest roughage food because roughages are a kind of carbohydrates. Functions of roughages It helps in regular bowel movements. It prevents constipation. Sources of Dietary Fibers Everyone must eat sufficient fiber foods in their daily diet. The dietary fiber food includes fruits, vegetables, wheat, cereals. Some kind of roughage sources in vegetables include sweet and plain potato, palak, pumpkins, carrot, peas and many different kinds of beans. Roughage fibers in fruits include apples, banana, papaya, berries and pears. Generally, we eat some fruits by removing their peel. Example, banana, orange, etc. But some fruits like apples, grapes and berries are eaten along with their peel. Most of the vegetables we eat are also cooked along with their peels. Example, tomato, brinjal, peas, etc. Some special dishes like chutneys are also prepared without removing the peels. Example, mango, lemon. Do not discard or remove the peels of vegetables and fruits because they contain nutrients. Peels also contain fibers which help in digestion. Before eating or preparing, wash the vegetables and fruits thoroughly in salt water because nowadays farmers are spraying many pesticides on them. Now, let us learn about necessity of water. Water is an essential component required by our body. Every day, Humans must consume certain amount of water to survive. About 72% of our body consists of water. Water keeps our body hydrated. Functions of water It supplies a vital nutrient to the life of every cell. It regulates our internal body temperature through sweating and respiration. It forms saliva. It helps in flushing waste from our body through urine. It lubricates joints. It acts as shock absorber for brain, spinal cord and fetus. It protects heart from shocks. It controls blood pressure. Most of the fruits and vegetables also contain water. Fruits like watermelon and strawberries contain 92% of water. Vegetables like cucumber have 96%, radish 95%, tomatoes 94%, green cabbage 93% water. Now, let us learn about the balanced diet. The food that contains all the food components like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals and nutrients in proper proportions is called a balanced diet. So, to maintain a balanced diet, one should eat green salads and vegetables every day. If a person takes dal, rice, rotis, green vegetables, small quantity of oil, then all the food requirements of the body gets fulfilled. To maintain a balanced diet, food must be cooked in a proper manner. Food items should not be overcooked, reheated and also no washing after cutting them into small pieces because the nutrients present in them will be lost. Food items like cereals, pulses, milk should be taken adequately. Cooking oils and animal foods should be taken moderately. Fruits, leafy vegetables and other kinds of vegetables must be taken plenty. Vanaspati, ghee, butter, 
and cheese must be used sparingly. Avoiding junk foods The word junk refers to something like extra and useless. Junk foods are poor in nutrients and energy giving. Food items like pizza, burger, noodles, french fries gives empty calories than proteins, vitamins. Junk food causes damage to our digestive system. It is better to avoid eating of junk food. Now, let us know about the history of food and nutrition. French scientist named Lavoisier, 1743 to 1793, had done his research on nutrition during 18th century. He found the importance of food components and its nutrients. In the year 1752, scientist named James Lynch discovered that the disease scurvy can be cured by eating fresh fruits and vegetables. In 19th century, they have discovered that the body obtained three substances from food. They are proteins, fats and carbohydrates. Follow-up work Take up the following activities. Collect the list of food components taken by you yesterday and discuss with your teacher whether your food contains all the group of food components. Collect different types of food materials like milk, potato, ghee and test for the presence of starch in them. Make a list of food items taken by you during lunch. Try to mention the components of each food item. Prepare khichdi with your mother's help using all kinds of available vegetables, dolls, nuts, etc. And write a note on the process of making khichdi. Make a list of food items that contain all the components of food. You have successfully completed the chapter Food Components.